Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sai. I'm currently working in Australia as a data engineer and as a DBA. I have more than 11 years of experience in this field, working for various customers in banking, airlines and retail industries. With my experience, I'm starting this course on Teradata Vantage and I'm going to cover different areas like operations, administration, system optimization, query tuning, etc. I hope you find my videos knowledgeful and I wish you a good luck. Now, what is Teradata? What is its position in current industry? Let's start the course. Teradata is a relational database management system. It is one of the largest commercialized analytical data warehouse introduced back in 1979. It got some of the features like mature optimizer, a system with massively parallel processing, high availability, proven scalability, supporting data models like star schema, snowflake schema, embedding, normalizing principles. Finally, reduces data size with various types of compression. There are so many companies using Teradata Vantage in today's world. In Australia itself, I can list top 4 banks like Commonwealth Bank of Australia, National Australian Bank, ANZ and Westpac. There are also top telecommunications company like Telstra, Optus, etc. Qantas under airline sector, Medibank under medical sector or some other companies. There are many other companies around the world like Charles Schwab, American Airlines, Citibank and many more. Now, what is Teradata Vantage? Teradata has introduced a new product called Vantage. Vantage provides processing engines like Advanced SQL, Machine Learning and Graph engines which supports abilities like 4D analytics, path and pattern analysis, math and statistics, text analysis, sentiment analysis, decision trees with 180 plus built-in functions. It does support various languages including SQL or Structured Query Language, R, Python, SAS, Java, and etc. It also provides access to BI visualization tools including Tableau, Quillic, IBM Quagnos, etc. Analytical tools including Data IQ, SAS, etc. Notebooks and integrated development environments including R Studio, Jupyter, SQL Assistant, and Teradata Studio. Vantage can be deployed on public cloud environment, AWS, GCP, and Azure technologies along with its existing on-premise data centers. There's a high-speed fabric ties that's processing together by interconnecting all the modules. NOS or Native Object Storage is another feature introduced in Teradata Vantage. It helps to read and write from external objects storing on cloud, supporting following formats like JSON, CSV and Parquet, thus supporting semi-structured or file level data along with the traditional data storage. So I am summarizing the vantage points in this image. In the next sessions, I will be covering about Teradata architecture, so stay tuned and enjoy your day.